Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So recently my power company contacted me and asked if I wanted to upgrade my thermostat to a smart thermostat. They offered me some discounts and a promotional MasterCard or Visa, something like that, um, if I would accept the terms. So anyway, I went through and accepted the deal and uh, they sent me this. this Sensi thermometer, I mean thermostat. Uh, it's a smart thermostat, of course, works with Google and iOS device or Android and iOS devices, I guess I should say. Um, it also works with Alexa, Google Assistant, Apple HomeKit. Basically, it's it's a big deal. Uh, I mean, it's one of the big deal uh, thermostats in the business, I guess. Um, I like it because it's touch screen. I actually installed one of these in my sister's house a few months ago when they moved into their new house. This is the thermostat they bought. Funny thing is, I already have a smart thermostat. I think it's in one of my older videos. It's a uh, an old Honeywell thermostat. It's one of the original smart thermostats. So it's several years old. I bought it on eBay a long time ago because I wanted a Wi-Fi thermostat I could control from my phone. And it worked for that. And it's worked great for years. But I wanted to see what they were talking about and try out these new features, uh, this new peak hour savings and preheating and pre-cooling and all this stuff. So, uh, you know, I like anything that has to do with tech or, or having the newest gadget. So I couldn't resist a free thermostat, of course. So now I'm going to go ahead and wire it up. Uh, I'm going to spare you the, uh, the whole thing. You know, this is not a tutorial on how to set up a thermostat or wire it up or anything like that. I, I don't really know what this is. I'm just going to show you. I got a new thermostat and I'm proud of it. So, Hang in there and we're gonna go set this up. So in the box here, we got the Sensi thermostat, a little mounting plate that comes with a built-in level, it's pretty cool. And the Sensi will plug into that. Installation guide, welcome guide, a little bit of tools that come with, or not tools, but parts, I guess, the screws to hold it on the wall, and a little jumper wire. And then we've got whatever this thing is down here. And then these little stickers. These stickers are used to label the wires when we pull them out of the wall. I'll show you in a second. Uh, you're definitely going to want to use these if you don't already have labels on those wires because if you've ever put in a thermostat before, you know how much trouble it is to keep up with all the wires. And if you haven't, you definitely want to label those wires. Because I've been caught many times trying to put one back together and not knowing what wire goes to what. Before I get started, this is the old Honeywell that I have. As you can see, it's got, you know, uh, the temperature, I mean, it tells me the indoor 70, uh, it's set on 68 for heat and it's got a little schedule and things you can do, but it's just old. It's old in terms of the technology and there's so many new features that I can get out of this new thermostat. So we're going to pull this down and go ahead and, and get it swapped out and I'll update you along the way as we do this. So I'm going to show you what I was talking about real quick. I pulled the front off the old thermostat and these are all the wires that I connected. Of course, when I originally set it up years ago. And if you look down here, all of these wires are labeled. And all of those little labels match these little stickers that came in the kit. So I'm going to match these up real quick, and then we'll disconnect this back plate and pop the new one in. But definitely make sure you label these, because if you pull these out, you're not going to remember which one goes to what plug, and it's going to take you hours to get this back together. Now we have everything labeled. Notice that some of them actually match up to the colors, like Y is on the yellow wire, but that is, it's just not consistent. I actually thought that way the first time I did this, that's why I didn't label them, but it is not consistent at all with the colors. So you definitely need to label this. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect each of these wires by unscrewing these little flathead screws that hold them in. So I removed the back, the back plate, I guess. And now I've installed the Sensi back plate. As you can see, it comes with this really nice, well, first of all, it tells you which one's up, which side is up and which is down, which is, seems like a no brainer, but it's helpful. Got all my labeled wires pulled through and there's even a level, check that out. There's a level on it, so you can kind of get it level, obviously on your wall. So now I'm gonna hook all these wires in to the places that they go that match the labels and then we'll basically be done. Plug it in and set it up. All right, now all our wires are plugged in where they go and I've neatly packed them all back down into that little square. I'm gonna leave them labeled. Another thing I love about the Sensi, which, you know, 
I don't know if it comes on other models or not, but I like how it's got this power switch right here so I can test and make sure it's getting power before I even go and plug everything up. It looks like my level's coming off, off a little bit, but that's okay. Anyway, we've got power, so let's plug the faceplate in and see what happens. And I put the faceplate on and now it's connecting. So I have to download the app and go through the setup process and we basically got a working thermostat. Now, what I would recommend is once you get it installed like this, you wanna go ahead and test it all out. So I'm gonna, it's on heat mode right now. It just kicked on, it turns orange. I can hear that the heat just kicked on down there. I'm gonna find a nearby vent. Let's see, I know there's one in the kitchen. You just walk over to the vent, put your hand in front of it and make sure that you're getting some heat out of it. Okay and it is heating properly. So we know we've got that. After I test the heat, I'm gonna come back over here, turn it way back down, because my heat was originally set on 68. Now I can touch the heat mode thing and switch it over to cool. Oops, 72 degrees in here now, so set that cool down to about 60 degrees. I just heard my air conditioner kick on, so that was pretty quick. And then we will return back to the vent just to make sure we're going to get cool air now. It's still warm in there, but it's going to take it a second. And it'll start blowing cool air. There we go. So we've got a working thermostat now. And I know I made a lot of cuts in this video, but that only took about 15 minutes to go from the old thermostat to the new one. Now I'm gonna spend a few minutes setting up the app and doing that and we'll be good to go. Okay, so I've got the Sensi set up and I, know I told you this was through my power company, which is Alabama Power. They send it to me. Um, it's their Power Smart Advantage program through, with Sensi, I guess. Um, so it's something you may wanna look into. A lot of power companies are offering it. It's not just Alabama Power. I've seen it on several other uh, power company promotional sites through slick deals and things that I see online. So keep an eye on your emails and check your power company and this may be something that's offered to you. It's, an, it's not a cheap thermostat by any means and I got it for free. So it's a pretty good deal and it's an opportunity to save money on my power bill. Thanks for watching.